Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl back at it again with another video. This is just part three to the first two. Um, this will be the last part to this series. To this specific series. Um, so, yeah. So, here's the bump. We are 32 weeks and one day today. Um, I have officially been released from the hospital for right around 24 hours. Um, so my official diagnosis was preterm labor. Um, I was put on both pelvic rest and bed rest, which essentially is the same thing. Um, so they have me setting small miles, milestones. Basically, my first small milestone was to make it to 32 weeks without actually going into labor again. Um, or without trying to start the laboring process. I made that yesterday. So our first milestone is made. Our second milestone is 34 weeks. If we can reach 34 weeks without going into labor, then we're going to push for 36 weeks. Depending on how soft my cervix is and also how dilated I am. So if I hit 34 weeks and I'm already three to four centimeters dilated and my cervix is ready to go, then that will go ahead and induce me then. Um, so we're going to pray at this point. It's just kind of hoping that we can make it to 36 weeks without having to be induced. If we can make it to 36 weeks, we'll be okay. Um, I believe I explained to you guys, they gave me the, um, steroid shots to help develop the baby's lungs. Um, so yeah, so those are our milestones. Um, like I said, I have been home for around 24 hours now. Um, and I have been basically doing nothing. <laughs> That's basically what bed rest is, is basically doing nothing, you know, no bending, no squatting, no basically being on my feet for too long. We live in an upstairs apartment. So um, I have to take it easy on the stairs. I literally have not been down my stairs since I came up them yesterday. Um, I do have to leave here in a little while. Once T gets home, so that we can go to the store because we do get a new family member today, which I'll just do like a, a very short, probably like five minute segment type situation of us getting him or of me seeing him for the first time because the Corey will see him before I see him. So, um, but yeah, so pelvic rest is basically... Um, for my sensitive younger viewers, it's basically no sex, um, because it can trigger labor again, and we're trying to avoid triggering labor at this point. Um, so that's where we are with what my orders from the doctor have been, um, Nari is not here right now. She did leave to go with her grandmother this morning, her dad's mom, this morning, um, to go to her house for tonight. And then um, also today, today they're celebrating my sister-in-law's birthday. So, yeah. So, all right. Last night after I got home and I got settled and relaxed, I had like an itching fit. Like when I say itching fit, like, I mean, I was like, clawing into my skin my skin is all red even still like I can't really show you because you know YouTube but like all through here like my belly like everything my back everything was just itching so bad to the point like I couldn't stop and so I tried to get in bed you know I turned on the air I turned on the fan I was like all right we're just going you know maybe I just need to cool my body down I didn't feel hot but like I was itching and so when we I was laying here and I was like, I just can't take this anymore. I literally went and got in the shower and took the hottest that I can stand water just so that way I could try to stop itching. And it worked for the most part up until like just maybe about an hour ago, I just started itching again. And it might just be from coming off of the medicine that they had me on to stop my contractions, which is magnesium. I 
haven't done too much research on it because I didn't really feel the need to, but I was on a bunch of medicine while I was in hospital, so it very well could very well could just be a reaction to that. Um, I didn't break out in hives or anything. Like, there's no hiving, no, no nothing. It's just the itching. So, yeah. Excuse me. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything basically all day. So, basically today, all I've really been doing is just getting small stuff done here and there. Um, One of my best friends stopped by today. He brought some stuff for the baby girl. Um, so I got that stuff put up. I got some of the toys put up in the girls' room. There's still a ton of work to do in the girls' room. Um, but I'll have that done probably by Monday just because I have to take my time and do stuff like little by little, literally. So, um, hopefully tomorrow, if all goes well, we'll still go and take our maternity pictures. You can catch those on our Instagram on my Instagram or my Facebook. Um, they'll both be there and those links or those my uh names on those will be posted in the description box below. So yeah. Um we do have, like I said, quite a few videos that will be going up within the next few weeks. Um I do intend on keeping everybody updated on everything as well as I can. Um, so, yeah, like this video wasn't really meant to be long. Because it was just like the ending of everything. How everything ended up and how everything turned out. So, um, yeah, let's see if I could push for at least 10 minutes. Um, so... Tomorrow we're supposed to be doing maternity pictures, perfectly if all goes well. Um, we got our custom shirts made. I can um, actually link below the girl's information. This is the same girl who did our gender reveal shirts um, and the same girl who did our coming home shirts. So, yeah, there's that. This will be... One of two videos that go up today, maybe strong, strong, maybe three videos, but I know for sure two are going up today. Um, there will be a very short segmented video of the introduction to my sister that'll go up probably tomorrow or Monday. I'm going to try to get as much uploaded as I can, um, and then I'll do the apartment tour. Thursday I'll do the car tour. Y'all like I have so much stuff, so many videos that I'm have to get that I'm trying to get caught up on. <sighs> so much. So yeah. But um so far right now everything's going pretty good. I feel myself getting out of breath a lot faster than normal. My body is like tired and achy. Um, constantly, like it's constantly tired and achy, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to take it day by day, honestly, at this point, um, take everything slow and just kind of get through stuff, you know, this past week was quite emotional for me and him. So, yeah, at this point, like I said, it's just about trying to catch up and relax and just take it step by step, day by day, <clears throat> and praying for the best. Um, and praying that the next time that we do have to go to the hospital, you know, like, we'll be able to have a healthy baby um, or whatever. So, she's pretty active even still. That hasn't changed. Um, but, yeah, so... It's really not a lot to talk about. I'll link my part one and part two videos in the description box. I'll link my Instagram, my my Snapchat name, my Facebook information, my Twitter information. Will all be linked below. I'll link the girl who made our T-shirts um in the description box below. Her 
Instagram and her Facebook information. Um, Monday, roughly Tuesday, probably Tuesday, though, um, I will be posting a video of our virtual baby shower stuff alongside in that video. I can post links to anything else anybody may want to send. Um, as far as my registries go. And then, yeah, so my goal is for, today this video will go up and probably another video, the the puppy vlog, um, where I record us going shopping and everything, my initial reaction, I can't edit videos on my phone, so it may be like a bunch of like short videos combined into one my instagram will be linked down below so you can always catch up if you don't want to want if you don't really want to watch like a ton of different short videos you can just go on my instagram that'll be in my be in my stories there um you can view it there tomorrow i'll be doing i may not post anything tomorrow honestly but if I do, it'll be the introduction to my sister. Monday, we'll do um, probably the apartment tour. Tuesday will be the updated, no, not updated, the, uh, what did I say Tuesday? Oh, the virtual baby shower. Wednesday, we'll do the updated Diaper bags. Um, Thursday, we'll do the car tour. Friday, we'll do an update to the appointment on Thursday. Um, and then we'll go from there. But I do intend on uploading at least once a day this week. We'll see how it goes. So, yep, don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I make a post. Um, I think that's it. That's all. And that'll wrap it up for today. Thanks for tuning in.